This battery array came from a 2013 Chevy Volt. The battery chemistry is nickel manganese cobalt. It's a very high specific energy, 16 kilowatt. I'll be running at a 48 volt system. So I'll have like over 300 amp hours of uh, battery power. The way that it's laid out definitely isn't gonna fit in the boat. So I'm literally gonna cut around the perimeter. Then I'm gonna cut this in half. I'm gonna leave that battery bank alone because it will fit. I do have to make some modifications where the old gas tank sat right aft of the engine. Uh, so I'm gonna use some thick plywood, glass over it, and then bolt this these guys down to that plywood. bowels of Sertia. I gotta do a little wood cutting. Basically create a lower po profile for this platform to lay flat on. Uh, and then I actually need a little bit more space as well. Basically modifying the old fuel tank mounting platform and uh, just making it work for these batteries. working on the battery mount. We shot really big and hoped that we were gonna be able to get it into the engine room all on one piece, but didn't happen. So now we're recutting it, actually cutting in half and putting down some extra little measurements to get it all in there. All right, so there's the other half. Well, the board and my other half. <laughs> we're almost done, just gotta make one more cut. And it should fit. I put it in the wrong way. <laughs> Murphy's Law. Oh. Here we go. It's like a glove. So these are the old mounts that the batteries came with and they're just going to lay across like this. I'm just going to bolt these to this board here, this platform. The wood that we're using for the battery platform planks is oak. Not marine grade, it is strong though. We are gonna put three protective layers. First layer that we already put on here was epoxy resin. So that's cured, just gotta sand it down, and then we're gonna, I'm gonna put some 545 primer all grip on it, and then I'll put the top coat of all grip Snow White that I got left over from painting the whole boat. Um, and that will give it a nice seal. Current situation. Pirate kiss blocking us in. Basically, we were told about two weeks ago that this boat was just gonna get the bottom done and it would only take about three days two weeks ago 
So once that gets moved, we can actually get in the water. The one thing that will never end when you own a boat, sanding. Gotta go to the store, get some more painting paraphernalia. One thing that I didn't tell you guys, originally when I ordered the paint for the exterior of the boat, I accidentally selected all craft. Uh, and if you guys know anything about all grip, all craft is a spray on application only. And you need the proper spraying converter to use it. Well, when I had ordered it, I actually ordered the correct converter for brushing but incorrect top coat. So I actually had to take it back and get the correct top coat. The reason I found this out, I didn't check my order, surprise. That's burnt me twice now. I didn't check and I actually went ahead and did the cockpit. The next day I was expecting it to be cured. Well, it was sticky as hell. And I was just scratching my head you know, wondering what the hell I did wrong. Did I mix it wrong, whatever. Well, I then checked the can of paint and realized that I had ordered the wrong thing. Anyways, I had to keep that can of paint. I spoke with a rep and he told me, yeah, it should cure. If it doesn't, you're just gonna have to rip it up. But to my surprise, and thankfully it cured, you can actually use the converter. It just takes a little bit longer to cure. I don't recommend it. But since I do still have that left over, um, actually I've upped the converter, the brush roll converter. I've doubled the ratio, so more like four to one. And I use that to paint the battery platforms. Uh, it does take maybe a day extra to actually cure fully, but from what I can tell, it gives a good solid vinyl coat. Originally, I had this battery platform as one piece, but since it was so large, I wasn't able to actually fit it in where the old diesel tank used to be. So what I'm gonna do is basically, what I had to do was cut it in half, and I'm gonna join the two pieces together using this additional, I think it's like a one and a half inch by 27 inch and I'm just gonna bolt either side to it, either end. It's also gonna be mounted lengthwise as well. Now that I got the battery panel put together, I now gotta drill the holes for the actual battery plates. I don't know if you guys remember me taking the batteries apart at Scott's house in the Chevy Volt. These batteries are mounted to this plate. I'm going to just drill holes down the center to the platform to keep them from going anywhere. And then I'll lock the batteries down in place. So this is how these guys fit on here. Uh, it's pretty simple. They slide in this one uh, rigid edge and then there's a little bracket. It's got some uh, encapsul encapsulators on it. And you just pop them into place. And then you bolt it down. 
and this guy ain't going anywhere. Last night, we got all the battery plates painted. Um, it came out pretty good. Today, I'm gonna install them and see. I'll try to manage getting the batteries in there. Um, they vary in sizes and weights. The heaviest is probably about 120 pounds, the lightest being like 70. So we'll see how, the, how well that goes. Into the bowels of Sersha we go. It looks good. It's nice and sturdy. It ain't going anywhere. Now the challenge is how do I get the batteries in here? I thought of a couple different ways. The hardest way would to be bring it through the um, the engine room here. I think the easiest way would be to create some sort of hoisting system using the boom and um, maybe create like a bridle for the batteries and then just lower it down swing it into place but that's a two-man operation and unfortunately Brandy's out of town and nobody's around so I'm gonna have to get creative That actually worked a lot easier than I thought. So basically I'm just using a piece of plywood and just using it kind of like a, a slide in a sense. It's pretty easy. I might be able to get away with the big one doing that. Did it! Woohoo! Whew! That was not easy. Thanks for watching. Be sure to tune in next week. If you liked this episode, please like and subscribe. And if you want to see more, please tune in over on Patreon. Our link is below. See you next week. Thanks, guys.